Well, hello and welcome to another My Own Magic Review. My name is Mike My Own, hence these are my own reviews. If this is the first time you're visiting this channel, well, you should know I only uh, I only review magic that I buy. Um, so, uh, so I feel I can be honest. I can tell you what I don't like. I can tell you what I do like, and um, there's and I can tell you where I think there were some shortcomings, and I usually do find one or two. Um, so, uh, so I will. If you haven't subscribed. I hope you will, and I hope you'll hit the bell when you do subscribe. That'll tell you, uh, that'll notify you next time I post a review, so you'll be able to keep up. Hey, it's been a while since I posted a review, and um, I'll tell you why. I have good reason. Uh, three of them, as a matter of fact. I went to my very first uh, Blackpool convention, and um, uh, and it was, it was not, you know, it was not your typical one, because it was um, uh, post-COVID, uh, and, you know, wasn't all that well attended. Um, but Blackpool was on my bucket list, and as you can see, it's uh, it's time to start checking those things off the bucket list. Um, I came back with something. Uh, yes, I came back with COVID, so uh, so that put me out of commission for another week. Um, and then I have and the third reason is I've been spending the last few weeks uh, putting together some uh, some magic to bring with me to the um, Magic Live convention, which is going to be in May. And um, I will be there in the dealer booth alongside uh, my friend uh, Brett Barry at the Sven Pad table, and I hope you'll stop by. Hey, if you're interested in seeing some of my magic, well, you can go to my website, uh, look at the products, um, and it's uh, mikemyown.com, and you can see some of the some of the things I've been working on. I, I hope you'll check it out. Now, now let's check out uh, let's check out the review for this week. This week's review is uh, Magic Tweezers by Tenyo. You're a magician, and you know Tenyo. Uh, it's a magic, a Japanese magic toy company, and occasionally, uh, well, every year they put out some some magic trick toys, uh, which are um, um, interesting. Some of them are, 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 are baffling. Some of them are terrific. Uh, um, some of them not so terrific. Um, and um, uh, usually, they're not the kind of thing that you would normally carry around with you. Um, but it's more kind of, uh, if you have an office, you might have it on your desk and show somebody when they came in. Or if somebody came to visit you at home, you might uh, pull it out. Because the, the methods are always very clever. And, um, and you, you kind of get a kick out of that, if nothing else. And then there are lots of people who just... Um, collect Tenyo. So um, if you're a magician, you know Tenyo. I don't have to tell you more about Tenyo. Let me show you what I did uh, with Magic Tweezers. Do you play with cards for money? I do. But I don't play poker. No. I do things a little differently. Let me show you how I make money playing with cards. You see that, uh, that's the joker right there. I just reach into his pocket just like that, and I just uh, pull out a coin. <laughs> yeah, we just reach into his pocket just like that, and then uh, we pull out a coin. We do it from the back, just as easily. You just reach behind him and then just pull out a coin just like that. Let me show you one more time. You just reach inside just like that. I'll come in nice and close and just pull out a coin like that. And there we go. So I, I think that looked pretty good, didn't I? You know, I did a. I think I did a decent job with magic tweezers, um, as you can see. Uh, that, now that wasn't all that long ago. I know um, my hair was uh, a different color, and I didn't have this gray beard. Um, but um, you know, that was the magic of hair dye. Well, let's take a look at what you get when you when you get. Um, uh, when you get magic tweezers. You get the typical box, all in Japanese. Um, and it's, uh, they, they have a tendency to always use this blue packaging. Um, and inside the package, you get the all Japanese instructions with you know, 
a place to go to download English instructions. And in this case, you get this uh, cool little uh, optical illusion type uh, <clears throat> piece of plastic where you will uh, put the tweezer to pull out the coins and uh, you get a tweezer, an ordinary tweezer, nothing special about this tweezer. Um, and then you get the gimmick um, which I have removed and put aside because I'm not going to show you that. Um, I'm just going to tell you that you do get a gimmick um, and um, uh, that's, that's the whole package. There isn't a whole lot to it. The gimmick is kind of cool um, and as I said it's pretty clever, um, and you're gonna. It's one of those clever methods that uh, Tenyo um, takes advantage of and incorporates in their um, magic toys every year. Let's look at the pros and the cons. What do I like about this trick? Well, I, I don't think you can argue with me. It is visually striking when that coin comes out. That's 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 very very magical looking, uh, and that that just looks great. So uh, so I give it a plus for that. It's a, a visually striking trick. Um, as I said, the method is clever. Um, if you're into methods, um, you'll get a kick out of it. You just will. The method is very clever. I had no idea. Well, I saw you know I saw the the, the video online and said. Ooh, I want to get that. That looks good. Um, and then I saw the price was only twenty dollars, and I said, "Oh, ooh, I definitely want to get that." <laughs> um, so the method is, is is very clever, and I had no idea. Um, it is good for video uh, video presentations. As you saw, that was a video presentation I did at the beginning of the pandemic, um, and uh, I included that um, uh, in one of my um, one of my YouTube's um, programs. It's, uh, it's good for video, maybe Zoom, but, you know, I found that it was a little hard to replicate um, the effect over and over and over again. Um, so um, I, think, I think a video um, presentation was just safer than doing it on Zoom Live. Um, as I mentioned, the price it was only $20. Right now, you can get it for $16 from uh, Penguin Magic with free shipping. Um, and uh, you'll say, well, why, why are they discounting it? Well, they're discounting it because the list of cons is pretty long. Um, first off, it's only good for close-up where you can control the angle of view. It's angly. Um, you don't want somebody behind you. You don't want somebody on the side. Um, uh, they'll see the gimmick. Um, the gimmick fits into the tweezer. I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but the gimmick fits into the tweezer. And mine didn't stay in there very easily. Um, so I actually had to tape it uh, into, the, into the tweezer. Um, so it would stay there and I could uh, perform the, the effect uh, a few times. Now, that means that you can't end clean, right? You can't hand out the tweezer for examination unless you're able to remove the gimmick um, or do a switch in some way and switch the tweezer for an ungimmick tweezer. Um, um, they only give you the one tweezer, so you'd have to find another one if you're going to do a switch. I, 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 now, of course, good audience management, you might be able to to ditch it before somebody actually saw it, but certainly not if it's taped, uh, taped in. So, so that's um, uh, that's an that's an issue. If um, if you have audio, if you perform for people who insist on seeing everything, then you're not going to want to do that. Um, now, I, I I think it was not easy for me, and it might be easy for other people, but it was not easy for me to master the move that uh, uh, that makes the coin look like it's coming out of um, out of the hole. Um, or and there's another move, and that is to take the coin off the tweezer. Um, so both those moves were uh, not easy for me to master. Um, I did a lot of practicing. And then I, you know, it wasn't one take. Uh, I, I did a couple of takes before I got something that I um, wanted to include in my, um, in my, uh, uh, on my channel. So, uh, so keep that in mind. It's not an easy trick to do. Um, there is a little bit of a coin slight that's necessary if you're going to produce multiple coins, or as they suggest in their routine, the routine that uh, Tenyo gives you, um, to produce um, a, a dollar bill at the end. So a little tiny bit of slights, nothing complicated from that perspective. And then um, the instructions, very minimal. 
uh, nothing, uh, no video to accompany it that uh, gives you any kind of handling tips or uh, ideas. Um, and I think that might have been helpful um, if, if somebody, you know, really wanted to, um, to use this. Um, it would be nice to have the experience of somebody who's used it a lot uh, to tell you what to avoid uh, or how to present it in a way that, um, that, doesn't, um, uh, that doesn't make it obvious what's, what's going on. So, um, so those are uh, those are the cons. It's a long list, which means that I only give Magic Tweezers a one and a half stars. That's the lowest review I've given any. Normally, I don't review things I don't like. Most everything I review are is magic that I do like. Um, but I'm not crazy about this. I enjoyed making the presentation. I enjoyed um, the, the clever method. Uh, I enjoyed the fact that it was inexpensive. Um, if you're a tenure collector, you'll probably want to in, uh, include this in your collection. Um, but it's not something that you're going to take around with you, I don't think. So um, it's only one and a half stars. You can get it, as I said before, uh, from tenure, from uh, Vanishing Ink Magic for $17 or save a buck and get free shipping, uh, shipping from Penguin Magic where it's $16. So um, uh, if you're, again, if you're a collector, Hmm, that's a good buy. That's a good buy. Now, uh, I'm going to end by showing you what I think was the inspiration for this trick um, uh, for Tenyo's Magic Tweezers. And, and what it is, is, um, is the Chinese tweezers, um, and it's Mario Lopez, um, uh, his work. So, so let me just show you a tiny bit of Mario Lopez doing Chinese tweezers. So now that's quite awesome, isn't it? Um, yeah, and um, uh, you know, I mean, he's a FISM champ, so uh, what do you expect? Um, that, that's great, and I believe that was the inspiration. I, I, I have no idea what his method is, if it's the same as uh, uh, the, the magic tweezers from Tenyo, um, but um, it sure looks great, doesn't it, when he does it? A big silver dollar like that, too. Amazing. Amazing. Um, so that's our review for this week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will share it uh, with your friends. I hope you will comment if you have some comments, especially if you if you were one of the people who uh, purchased it. I'd love to know what you think of Magic Tweezers. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and click the button, the little bell, so that um, uh, you'll be notified the next time I post a review. And until the next time, well, uh, have fun buying some new magic.